Hi friends, here's a cell today talking about hypocrisies around money. Hypocrisies for me are the thinking that's not aligned with our behavior or actions. So I have been processing a lot of my uh, own work around money and uh, one of the things that I've noticed is that I had at least two major hypocrisies that I have overcome or worked through them. So one of them is pushing money away or having this mindset of um, being this uh, person who does not really talk about money or away from money uh, or thinking that money is not good and I'm here just for the passion and that's all I care and the money I don't really care. Uh, that was the, I think, the, the biggest uh, hypocrisy. Um, and the reason why it being hypocrisy is that even though I was very passionate and I'm con I, I continue to be passionate about my uh, new journey uh, of be being a life coach, um, yet um, saying that I don't really care about money or I don't really care um, if I get paid or not, I think that is um, a dishonesty and lie that I don't want to uh, have it in my life anymore. So that's, I think, one of the biggest... Uh, shifts that I'm making uh, in terms of clearing out the hypocrisy and the other hypocrisy that I'm noticing is that um, so I had this um, uh, idea and uh, also belief from the past uh, uh, from the past employment that um, I'm confident I trust myself I can do anything I want um, I'm always going after my passion um, and that's what I want to do and then uh, when there were times when that passion was not really clear or I didn't, um, uh, I wanted to do something else, uh, but I was looking at my money and saying, oh, I, but I need the money. So I'm not sure if I can really get that money outside anywhere else. So uh, you can see the hypocrisy of, um, uh, excuse me, my uh, flu is just in peak. Anyway, so you can see the uh, hypocrisy of me saying uh, that I uh, trust myself, I am confident I have all these competencies and experiences uh, that I can create any money I want or any uh, go after anything I want. Yet when the decision time comes, I am uh, saying that I can't do uh, so or I can't go for my passion because I need the money. So clearing out this uh, hypocrisies were I think some of the most challenging things that I have had to do yet I'm happy that I was able to do both of them in the way that I like. So I have resigned from my job as you or many of you know uh, even though that was a very well-paid job, an amazing job, but I decided I go for my passion because that's what's important. Even though there is a risk of uh, inconsistent income, there is a risk of me uh, uh, using up all my savings, yet I want to go for it because I want to show myself that I trust myself so much so that I can actually create as much money as I want to uh, by providing that uh, help and the result to my clients the way they want to. And uh, the more results they get, the more I uh, get my uh, money abundance, uh, I get paid more and um, so that I can also uh, create other projects and go after other projects. So as you can see that when I was in this Hippocratic mood, um, uh, I, I noticed that it was uh, dishonest with myself and, you know, noticed that these are not the conversations I was having with other people. This was even the conversation with myself, right? So it, it was important to um, realize that hypocrisy was uh, dishonest uh, and not only dishonest, but also constraining and limiting myself and uh, believing that money is more important than uh, my passion um, even though I was telling everyone else uh, that passion is more important right so um, 
And whenever I was in that mode, I realized that um, uh, I I didn't uh, want to um, continue this mode of uh, hypocrisy because that was not leading me to uh, evolvement, to growth, to all the desires that I want to pursue. Um, but rather it was keeping me in that um, pond of uh, thinking of, uh, oh, I can't do this because uh, money will run out or I can't do that because of money. So even though I was telling myself that, no, a passion is more important than um, I want passion. So now going through that process and having uh, broken through that uh, hypocrisy to come to the land of uh, me actually uh, admitting and accepting and wanting that I want to uh, be passionate and I want to create my uh, practice with passion, my life coaching practice, and I want to get paid for creating results with my clients and them knowing what the results are, keep paying me for it, uh, getting more and more results, and as a result, me prospering and having my abundance to... Um, actually uh, work on other uh, humanitarian projects um, as an individual and not necessarily as part of an organization um, and that way I could also contribute more and create more of what I want. So whenever we remove this uh, Hippocratic judgment and shame around money, I think it actually helps us to move towards um, who we want to be, how we want to show up in the world, the way that we are showing up within ourselves in an honest way. And uh, showing to the world that we can create as much abundance by creating results and helping people, as much abundance to help more people. So this is what I wanted to share uh, for you to consider if you have any hypocrisies around money with yourself, right? Like these are the conversations with yourself. I'm not suggesting that you go brag and uh, uh, broadcast to other people around, uh, about it, but just with yourself, check with yourself to see if you're being honest um, about the topic of money. Um, and if not, why not? And maybe there are judgment and shame involved and you could totally clear them out to come out to say, this is the passion that I want to do. I want to get paid for it well. And uh, that way I create the, uh, the abundance with the other person who's getting a result. Um, I'm creating abundance with myself and then with that abundance, I want to create more help to other people. That way we all can benefit from it. And looking at money, honestly saying that this is an amazing tool that we can use to uh, help create results for other people or with other people in their lives. And that way all of our lives get better and we all get our desires fulfilled. Okay, my dears, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, give it a try and let me know how it goes. And I'm, of course, happy to be coaching you on this topic in particular and see what comes out from your money story. Happy Thursday.